gaming, excitement, drama, all put into one. What more could you ask for? It's something that teenagers enjoy, the youngsters enjoy, and even the adults enjoy playing gaming these days. We've seen the good side. People like this. But then again, we always get the ones who act like this. The spread button doesn't work! He's not even sprinting! What are you doing? Just get me the out, please, man. No, don't, please, no. Please, God, no! Game, man. I can't off. Bing, 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 bing from kickoff. I'm sitting there like trying to pick players. The game's giving me players all sorts of different areas. Bing selecting players on the bench and bing. players in bing. Narnia. Instead of the players that make sense, I'm getting players just bing everywhere. What is the Put me on, on YouTube. Oh, look at this little ranger. He's raging. I don't give a. You're being a little knife in everybody. What are you doing there? What are you. Now, with gaming, there can be so much excitement and so much drama with in terms of streamers and YouTubers. I mean, we've even seen stories such as this and this and this. But it's not always that bad, I mean, it's just gaming. I mean, after all, that's what we enjoy. We love seeing people rage. But we've also got to realise the seriousness on what gaming can cause for us. So I thought to myself, what, what can we do? So I thought I would come here to Neath Batalba College and ask a couple of students doing the Level 3 Creative Media of their thoughts on gaming and the way raging has developed within the last few years. Well, to me personally, you know, rage is a common concept of video games, whether, you know, you deeply care for the video game or not. Like, for, for, in my case, like, I play FIFA and Call of Duty, and I'm always getting angry. Like, I, I've even, like, well, until I discovered the other day, I've actually broken one of my controllers. Definitely, um, and I've always said, like, video games are just good for escapism, you know? and for stress relief and stuff like that, you know, and just takes your mind off things, you know. Um, also like the social aspect of it, you know, you meet people as well who have the same interests, you know, and whatnot. So uh, definitely the culture and things like that, you know, definitely uh, grown up with it, you know, so yeah. Um, I don't really play as much video games as much as I used to. I'm not sort of mesmerised as much as I used to be. Um, you know, I, I, I'm, you know, much more of a film guy now. I think I'm more entertained by films these days. But, you know, I, I still play Call of Duty. I, st I still play, um, you know, I still buy the new Call of Duty. I still buy the new FIFA. Um, so, yeah, I, I'd say I still play video games, but not as much as I used to. I sort of, I've partially outgrown them, I suppose. But, yeah. I'm not part of the gaming culture, but I don't, like, I don't see them as a threat or I don't see them as um, doing that much harm. I think that maybe there needs to be some sort of filter, they need to improve how they are on there because it's just the situation is getting ridiculous. It's sometimes fun to watch but sometimes you just, people are just making a themselves. So you've seen everything with gaming. I mean the anger, the excitement, it's all been discovered. What is your thought on it? Tell me because this has been Calm Country and this has been Gaming, the Rage Edition.